Welcome to University of Education Winneba. This tutorial is going to take you through how you'll be able to register your courses online all by yourself. The tool we are going to use is the SIP, that is the Student Information Portal, which can be accessed from any internet access. Because we're going to use the internet, we need to launch our web browser. So you launch the web browser. I prefer to use the Internet Explorer. Now you need to type in the URL for the SIP. That is HTTP. Hit the enter key. You may ignore any warnings that your browser may give you and click on continue to this website. Now you put in your index number which is your username as well as your password. This is the case when you are a first time user of the SIP. Your username is your index number and that same index number is your password. So I put in my index number and I punch in my password which is my index number. I click on login. Good so the SIP opens for me. I'll need to change my password so it takes me straight away to the place where I need to change my password. To change my password I need my old password which is my index number so I punch in my index number one more time. Now I punch in what I would like to use as my password. That one will be my little secret. I have to do that for the second time then I click on change password once I do that I'll need to log in again with my new credentials once again I put in my index number which is my username note that the username does not change I put in my new password now I've been able to enter the SIP there are several features within the SIP but the one that we are interested in is the course registration side so we go straight to course registration and click on this button now once you click on that you click on enter please do well to read all the information that appears on the screen as you go along your registration as a first time user if the program I'm offered involves majors then I have to come to my level. For instance, supposing I've been given a program like social sciences where I have a major like history, geography, political science, etc. I have to click on my level, select the level which is level 100 for now, click on save and then that gives me the option to save my major as well if there are majors for me to save. So after saving my level, I click on course registration. Repeat. You click straight on course registration. You read what appears there. Ensure that the information is correct. For instance, the semester must be correct. You click on the enter button that appears here. You read the information that appears, which is very important. You click back on registration. When you click on registration, the courses you are supposed to register will appear for you to see. Note that before you try registering any course, you must be very sure that those are the courses the department wants you to register. So you first have to consult with your department to ensure that these are the courses. Note the course codes and course titles. All course codes are unique but course titles are not. So make sure that the course code that appears here is the same as what your department gives you to register. Now when you are sure of the, this, you click add for each of the courses you would like to register. Add, 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 add. Good. So you have now registered all the courses that you are supposed to register. As you can see they appear on the right hand side of the screen when the courses move to the registered courses side the add button changes to the drop button that means that if you made a mistake and you registered some course wrongly you can click on drop to remove that course I will have to register all the courses so I'll add that course one more time 
so the cause appears at the other side for me to see in fact this is all about the registration however you may decide to confirm your registration you should note that if you confirm your registration it means you will not be able to drop any course you have already registered so before you, reg you confirm your registration make sure to consult with your department to ensure that every course that you have registered is the correct one I will advise that you only confirm your registration just when registration is about closing when you click on confirmation or when you confirm your courses it enables you however to be able to print your registration when you confirm your courses you are able to print out the courses you have registered let's confirm it you read the instruction that appears then you confirm it once you confirm your registration you can come back here course registration and then view how a printout will look like you click on print then you select the printer if you have any and then you issue the print command So this is how your printed sheet will look like. If you have any further questions to ask about the registration, please consult your department or your faculty. I wish you a great stay in UEW. Bye bye.